This is the Leave Insert 2020 Higher Level Maths Paper 1. And this is the solution video for question one. So question one is an algebra question. f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus p, where x is an element of the real numbers and p is some integer between minus 3 and 8. Find the value of p for which x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. So for this one, if um, x plus 3 is a factor, we use the factor theorem and then sub in the f of minus 3. So we do the f of minus 3, that's equal to minus 3 squared plus 5 times minus 3 plus p. And that would be equal to 0. So that's minus 3 squared is 9. Uh, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15 plus p is equal to 0. 9 minus 15 is minus 6 plus p is equal to 0. Therefore, p is equal to 6. Part 2, find the value of p for which f of x has roots which differ by 3. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, the easiest way that I think is if we have x squared plus 5x plus p, and we look to, say, uh, factorise this. Um, if I have a factor, let's call the factor y. My other factor is going to be uh, y plus 3, y plus 3. Now, if I multiply my two roots, the answer is the constant p. So y by y plus 3 is equal to p. So that's one part of it. Then the other part is if I add these two roots together, I'll get the coefficient of x. So y plus y plus 3 is equal to 5. So that means 2y plus 3 is equal to 5. 2y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. What I can do then is I can sub this 1 back in here. I can say 1 by, uh, by 1 plus 3 is equal to p. So that means uh, 1 times 4 is equal to p. And that means p is equal to 4. And you can double check that. You can say, right, so if it was x squared plus 5x plus 4, then you'd factorize that to get uh, 4 and 1. Uh, 4 by 1 would give you 4, 4 plus 1 would give you 5, so it works out um, p equal to 4. Okay, on to the next part, part 3. Uh, find the two values of p for which the graph of f of x will not cross the x-axis. Okay, so for this we can use our discriminants, so that is b squared minus 4ac is going to be less than zero because it does not cross the x-axis, therefore it has no real roots. So b is 5, so that's 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is p. We want that to be less than zero. So that's 25 minus 4p is less than zero. Take 25 from both sides to get 4p is less than minus 25. And then multiply across, or sorry, divide across by minus 4. That will give p, change the sign because we're dividing by a minus, is greater than 25 over 4. So that is p is greater than 6.25. And if you remember from the question we had at the start, p is between minus 3 and 8. So that means p is equal to 7 and also equal to 8. Part B then, find the range of values of x for which the absolute value of 2x plus 5 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So this part has no relation to part A, it's just a standalone question. So we have this modulus inequality here. So what I want to do is isolate the modulus on one side on its own and then square both sides. So if I get the absolute value of 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to 1 and then I can go and square both sides. 
So when I square out this absolute value, I'll square the first, that's 4x squared, twice the product, 2x by uh, 5 is 10x times 2 is 20x, and then 5 by 5 is 25. And that's less than or equal to 1 squared is just 1. So then let's get everything to one side. So take 1 from both sides, 4x squared plus 20x. 25 minus 1 is plus 24 is less than or equal to 0. I can divide across by 4 to make it simpler. That'll give me x squared plus 5x plus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And now I want to factorise this like a quadratic equation. So that would be factors of 6 that add together to give you uh, 5. So that's obviously going to be 3 and 2. So factors of this would be x plus 3 by x plus 2, less than or equal to 0. And then I can take each factor out individually and say x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 2. Now, because it was a modulus equation um, and I squared it, I have to check these solutions in the original equation to make sure that they still work. So if I sub in minus 3, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. Absolute value of minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So that's true. And the other one, x is equal to minus 2. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Plus 5 is plus 1. Absolute value of plus 1 is 1 minus 1, less than or equal to 0. So both values hold true in this case. Now, because it's an inequality, I need to go and sketch, rough sketch of my solution. So x is minus 2 and minus 3. So minus 2 and minus 3. It's a U shape because it's a positive x squared. So it looks something like this. And I want to know when is it less than or equal to zero. That's when is it below the x-axis. So it's below the x-axis here, in between and including our two roots there. So our solution is x is greater than or equal to minus 3 and less than or equal to minus 2. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask below and I'll see you in the next video.